Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail with another edition of Steam Roulette. Today we're going to be taking a look at Realm of the Mad God, which is a free-to-play action RPG, highly recommended. It's a lot of fun. I played it back when it was a browser game in its infancy, but it does have some free-to-play elements now, such as uh, buy me little tokens and all kinds of things that you can add to it. But you don't need to pay any real money to have some fun with this. So we're going to dive in. I'm going to show you a little bit about it. And uh, if I see you in-game, yeah, feel free to add me here. Now, Realm of the Mad God, you have an option of different classes you can choose, and they can either be bought to be open, but I prefer to unlock them manually, but since I kind of suck at the game. Uh, let's go ahead and go over some of the basics here. You have your uh, rank, I guess is the best way to call it, your star rating. Right now, I have a very low one. The more class quests you complete, the higher it goes. I've gotten one class quest with the wizard, and the first one for every class pretty much has earned 20 fame. Which I've gotten close with some, but I'm for, I haven't actually played the rogue. I just recently unlocked him. I can unlock the warrior by reaching level five with the rogue, but from there, it's uh, they want you to reach level 20, which is the highest level, sort of Dungeons and Dragons style, to get some of these other classes because they're a little bit more complicated to play. The other factors you need to think of is this gold here, which is your real money currency. Don't need to worry about that. And fame, which will open up some other avenues. So we're going to play a priest today. And I'm going to be playing the Classic Priest because these other skins, while interesting, I do not have. So the last time I played a Priest, uh, it went pretty well. And we're going to just get a few different uh, parts of the game here. And I'm going to talk about this all at once. The Nexus is a thing that was not in the browser version that I was used to before. Because it has the area, you can see here, required rank, certain things. Other things require fame. But the Nexus is kind of the big player hub, which unfortunately means you get a lot of trade spam. So we're going to go straight into a dungeon or not dungeon but into an instance here and now i am actually in the game and you can see that i'm a priest i have a fire wand i have a healing tome which heals 100 within five squares and i'm already getting a quest here for a scorpion queen so we're going to go up here and see if we can kill this now this is very much an action rpg bullet hell style game but things are already dying so that's a good start and now if I want to, I can try and pursue more quests for bandit leaders. You can see here different different things drop. Some items I can use, some I can't. If I had multiple character slots, I could try and move things around here. But you don't always know just... Whoa, shit. That is a really good item. Tier 4. Each item has little different tier nodes around it. So that's worth knowing. So let's see here. If this is where the bandit leader is, that would be nice to do this. Maybe we'll be running around with Jack Row a little bit. Because I am just starting out, and he's a warrior, so he'll appreciate the healing that I can do within five squares. And there's another bandit leader, so more quest for me. I don't think priests can use a kendo stick. Now there is some uh, other nice options here, such as if you get really far away from people or you want to join people around your level, you can always teleport to them. That's another, like that person just teleported. I mean, you'll see people popping in and out right here. Now, uh, Jekro has a companion hanging around with him, so obviously he has uh, some knowledge of what's going on, and he's just trying to build back his stuff. But I think I'm going to stick with him for now, because this game's more fun if you can kind of get into a co-op situation. What, you, what it used to be, at least on the uh, browser-based version, is we get a crab here. Crabs are actually kind of scary in this game. Um, but what it used to be on the browser-based version is that you would just try and get with people and steamroll the uh, level 20 areas, so we'll go get a better, we'll go up our equipment here just a little bit. And this is a game that I'm having to learn after being away from it for a while, so let's see here, 40 maximum mana. You can only have one ring though, so I've already got a pretty good assortment of items. Overall though, this, this run does have some promise. But I was doing pretty good with the priest before until I uh, got obliterated by uh, when the there is a final boss that will taunt you throughout the game. And once you clear a bunch of different bosses and sub bosses, he will summon everybody to his castle. And I was like level 11. It's a, a bunch of level 20 enemies that obliterated me. But you can see the aesthetic of this game. It's a pretty, pretty interesting, but pretty basic too. Just a good 2D bullet hell, not perfect entirely, but wow, I'm letting myself get my face beaten. So heal there. 
we're just gonna keep following this guy because he's he knows how to progress he's getting some quests there's a goblin mage quest for me we don't all see the same quest but these are level appropriate monsters and he's the same level as me so that's gonna work out really nicely so we're both level six now and see it's a good combo my my healings fast paced I just hit space bar it heals for a hundred which is just as much as a healing potion and pretty much what we have and the quest markers do change as you go around but you do get fame is one thing that you really want to try and increase if you can wow that's a lot of skeletons see if I can heal him just a little bit here because I don't want my uh, tank friend to die all right so ring of magic don't need that I'll take both of those So let's see here. Now we have, oh right, Swarm. Enemies that I was killing as normal enemies later on. But yeah. Let's see here. What do I like about this game? I tend to really like the fact that just, you can really drop in, play, and leave. Versus the browser version, I really like the addition of being able to hot swap into other people's parties or games. It makes it a lot easier to find people because it used to be, at least my recollection of the game, is that I had to run super, super far around the map to get anything done. And that's not really the case now, so you're getting different treasure here. Three attack, healing potion, good items, but not necessarily items for me. I still have a, uh, don't need my tier zero wand anymore. So let's see here. Jericho, come back! And see, so you can just go teleport right on top of him, and there we are. And other people may be joining us soon. I'm already level 7, as we have a shambling thing right there. So I like the all the little sound effects here as well. So, But you gotta be careful, because it is a... Uh, there we go, killed by a magic sprite. My, my health just got completely waxed there, because I got in too many waves of stuff. And that's where sometimes you can get kind of balled in with uh, enemies that get are in other areas that are just really high level but see what happens there you die and you're dead that's one of the real big appeals of realm of the mad god to me is that it is permadeath it is hardcore in that way but uh, you start to go back and then let's just try this here i've done priest a few times i've had some bad luck dying there that time was me more talking not paying attention so i'll play a rogue for the first time and you can see the rogue he's a little sneaky sneaky and he has a uh Press space to use invisible invisibility for three seconds, which is a good get the F out of jail card, I guess you can say. So let's go back into this instance of the area. And you can see here, it's a lot like, I guess you can call it a lot of the old Nintendo games where, as we have a level one necromancer here, so someone with more experience than me, you can see with his red little star there, um, as he's going to teleport to someone else. And I'll show you the teleportation just to see if we can meet up with anyone. I'm a little surprised that I haven't been able to. Alright, let's 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 zoom out the map a little bit. Right now I'm surrounded by a bunch of... Any other level 1s? Not really. I guess I'll just go ahead and uh, see if other people are going to respawn. But yeah, this is... The world is very large here. And you do get special fame bonuses for like grouping with other people and having other levels come up near you. But I guess for now, Force One. Of course that would have been nice before. Like I got some nice gear with my priest, I just ran into a bunch of damage and what can you do? It's like I wasn't great at those games either, but... See like these attacks, easy to dodge, super slow. And I'm gonna get a bonus for completing a quest. Alright, so... What are we going to do here? I have a level 1 archer who's coming to say hello to me, maybe. Possibly. I get another quest for a scorpion. So I say, please join me to Hugh or something. Because eventually these quests are not going to do me much good at all, but for now I can at least try and rack up a little bit of fame that way. So we'll see, maybe the uh, archer will get wise as we have cubes that are attacking me because it's that kind of game. So it's here, Bandit Leader. Now once again, my uh, ability here is no longer self-heal, so I gotta get used to uh, actually, well first off, I'm actually doing a lot more damage, which is nice. The Priest lives a lot longer, technically, because of the healing spell, but 
it doesn't always work out when <laughs> you take massive damage. So it looks like I'm going to be doing a little bit of soloing here, at least for the time being. And I'll see if I can group up with uh, some other people once I get to a more appropriate level. There's a crab. Like I said, I do have some crab trauma from older versions of Realm of the Mad God. Because that crab is a much stronger creature. And sometimes that does happen where much stronger creatures actually do interfere. And that's kind of, that's, that's how a lot of my deaths in this game happen. So cool, someone's just joined me. Uh, three vitality ring. Cool. So if someone wants to trade with me. What has he got? Oh, sweet. So he's going to get me a really powerful set of weapons. Thank you very much, sir. Obsidian dagger. Thanks. Yay. So now I have a tier six weapon. And people really like to jump in and out of things. If anything... Oh, wow. So I would have even gotten a really cool dagger. Anyway, but you can see how much damage I'm going to do here or more damage except that I'm confused and tier 6 is near it's a lot better than what I'd be getting right now which is tier 3 but one of the reasons that people are so willing to give away weapons like this is because you have uh, the whole permadeath situation you can't take the stuff back with you so better just to give it up when you can so now I am a We'll try our invisibility in just a little bit, but for now at least I'm going to be able to get a quest marker here. Remedy Tome, so that's something I would have liked to have gotten on my priest, but it didn't. Would love for another quest marker to come up, but I'll just kill this guy instead. Oh well, quest complete again. So just a lot of people to kill. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Not taking as much damage because I got some really good studded leather armor. But see, like I said, it's just a action RPG. Go kill things. Almost could call it casual in a way. And I'd love to do uh, some content if I were higher level, but to be honest, it's sometimes it's hard for me to even survive so long. It's, it's surviving is not a skill that I always have. So there we go. See, there's Orcs the Mad God taunting, taunting, as he tends to do. So let's see, invisibility looks like this, and notice they're all just standing around not attacking. That is a devastating ability. I think I prefer 3 attack to 3 bits. What does that do to my HP? Because if you if you like statistics, this game gives you some statistics, and a lot of the end game is about maxing out your stats, getting stuff together. Alright, so forced maze portal. I'm glad we actually get to go into a dungeon because this is sort of the other random generated part here. We have apparently a maze. There we go. So we're just going to be going through. I've never actually done the forest maze tunnel and I have a feeling this could end badly. That is a giant squirrel throwing nuts at me. That's one great thing about this game. So dusky rose dagger, meteor staff. I don't think I'm going to be finding a better weapon than an obsidian dagger that I have right now. But this is going to be a really good experience because getting 48 experience per. And you can see here there's a magma mammoth up here. So I do kind of have an idea of where the end is going to be. And usually you can get some items a tier or two above what you'd otherwise get. So let's see here. Can I zoom out of the dungeon map? Yes, I can. And you can see the red dot there, meaning kind of what I'm looking for. So we'll backtrack just a little bit. Now you can do these dungeons with other people too if there's other people near you to go into the portal. And the portals do disappear after a short while. But I'd say this uh, dungeon, and it, there's random dungeons you can, I've never seen a purple bag before, that's interesting. Purple bag, seed sprout. I found the forest maze, it gives you speed boost when eaten. All right. And if I hit the number three, I believe that's how I use that. Could be pretty important here in a little bit. So, I mean, I don't know if I have the best comparisons prepared for Realm of the Mad God. There's a lot of games that are like this, but I guess it's, I guess that one thing that's really nice about it, or at least for me, is that, okay, so can't even, well, nice is that you have some UI improvements from when I played previously just regarding like if you mouse over this if I see red that means it's not going to be good stats the stats are fairly like basic or elementary but still this is an easy game to kind of pop in and play and that's one thing that you really want to see from a good quality um, 
free-to-play game. One that's going to draw you in and one that's not going to make it too hard to keep you in. Whoa, okay, this, this, these confusing butterflies could be pretty nasty. May have been better to stealth there. Do you like farming potions? Defense rings may be better than an attack ring, actually. Yeah, Confuse is one of my least favorite status elements because it completely wrecks your ability to walk. Like, I, I can't control there. It's like the Secret of Mana style of Confuse, which is not great. You see I'm level 5 here, and I may be having a name that says for failing, but so far I'm being pretty successful. Also, do enjoy the soundtrack to this game, although it is the uh, same song again and again, but there we go. That is a gigantic butterfly, and I did hit stealth once to get them to stop attacking me. I do have some more mana potions, although not a ton. Just trying to keep my distance and kite around, so there we go. Did I actually finish the dungeon? I guess the door did open there, so... Yeah, I think I finished it. Alright, cool. It's funny how you don't always know, I guess. Or I really should know. So let's hear any special item here. Dagger would have been really nice. Except that I have a better dagger. That's okay. Good experience. And all you? Just pop back in. So that's Realm of the Mad God. I am back here at the very start. And if I want... Let me see if there's actually someone I can teleport to. It's a little closer to my level here. Because I'm level 5. Let's go to Piedro here. He's level 6. I think I saw him earlier. So we'll see what he wants, kind of what he's trying to do here. Because I'm sure he has some different quest markers than me. But like I said, there's no real XP stealing here. You actually get more fame the more you level up with other people. And things can snowball quite a bit from there, but it looks like he's looking for something that maybe I'm not necessarily knowing here. So there's a killer bunny, which is nice Monty Python-esque staple. And you can see you can see where some of the big action is. This is a, a persistent world. Alright, so Unfortunately, me stealthing now means that they're all going to target him, so... I have a feeling if he has a snake pet that he can take care of himself a little bit. Alright, so I am getting some quests here to at least do a little bit of stuff. And people keep saying horse, and... I just wish I knew what that meant, but I don't really know. So let's see here. Healing potion, if he wants it, he can take it. I said I like I like following people who tend to know a little bit more what they're doing than I do. Plus, we're now we're still a level apart, but we're close enough. And you can see I get a new quest here now for a dwarf king. So if I die, that'd be unfortunate. I hope I don't die, but you only get fame through dying. So. That's kind of that's kind of part of the issue with this game is that you've got to die to move to move forward. So he has the weak status ailment, which is okay. Lots of shit to dodge on the screen. Now we're both weak. But I still have a, I have a ridiculous tier six weapon, so I think I'll be okay. Quest complete there, and we get a uh, another forced maze. Is he going in? I don't think he is. No. And that's a and that's understandable because that forest maze is already pretty simple. There's some dungeons that you want to jump into every time. I'm kinda of glad he took that hit for me. Okay, so what level is he now? He's level seven. He's also ranked nineteen, so he knows what's up, of course. I mean you can play a necromancer and earn it. Alright. And I've got to watch my health bar here pretty carefully. So here we go. Just trying to think through what I got. I don't have any great quest markers up right now. I don't think it's the Hobbit Mage that I want to be killing here. Oh, it's the Swarm. There we go. So Swarm down. 
Robe, tier 3 robe. Not awful. Let me see if I can take out some of these archers. Shambling Sludge, so I'm kind of back to where I was before. Question once again is, is he going to go that way or is he just going to keep clearing? There we go. So kind of, there's the Hobbit Mages again. Nothing really useful for me. There are some, probably some good items for him. Alright. So we'll just follow down here a little bit. Explode to your death. There we go. Could use the mana potion. That's mainly for stealthing. And now where are you going? He's crossing the river. I guess he's going for the somber or the shambling sledge that's down here. Alright. And these things can hit pretty hard, but fortunately I hit hard too, so. And let's see here. I don't know if there's something else to get other than just the cloak, but at least with my dagger I'm able to hold my own in damage, so. That's a really nice benefit of another generous player. And that's one of the things where this game really encourages you to pay it forward, and the community's pretty nice. It's like any other online community. There's some dicks to be found, but usually people are pretty nice. Usually. Not always, but usually. Alright, so it looks like we're on kind of the same quest now. Horn drinks. Fairly easy monsters. Not getting a lot of drops that I can use, but I am getting valuable, valuable experience. And the more important thing you do not have a whoa, why do I not have a weapon equipped? Because I dropped that. A little too happy with the dragon there. Alright, so are we killing different horn drakes? I got a quest complete. He got another thing complete. Cool. So I really hope I can get extra fame here. This would be good if we can both just go on and level up. Horn Drakes I find to be one of the easier things because their attack patterns are very, very predictable. But I've, I guess I've fought so many of them because I keep dying at this stage. So once again, I have tier 8 armor on. That's that's ridiculous. But hey, other people are generous. That's, that's very nice of them. I will accept that. And what do we got in here? Nothing. Now some of these areas can actually have scary places that take you to very very powerful monsters but you gotta get to the right door and I don't know the map quite as well as some other people which is another reason I'm following this guy so horn drake again gotta watch out for the force sprite here once again wonderful sound effects awk awk is what that thing says and you get to chase it down and go blah 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 so it's your hide armor once again not as good for me But I guess I'll take it. Okay, gotta watch my health once again. Okay, so we're gonna see maybe... Because I think he's still a level ahead of me. Yeah, he's level... No, he's level 9, so I've caught up. We'll go to the next Horn Drake, because you want to you want to quest. At least if you're trying to farm fame. And fame is one of those... It can be a leaderboard stat, you can call it that, and that might not be wrong, but... We're going to stealth here and stealth and slash magic potion. We we'll probably want that before long. So wasp queen and I'm taking a lot of hits I don't need to be taking here. Alright, well, we'll go to the wasp queen. I'm doing alright, I guess. Probably need to take one potion. Because things start to hit a little harder and you just gotta suck less, I guess. So another nice thing about this game is that this is another one where things that were bosses before become regular enemies later on. So Wasp Queen Swarm. What do we get? Nothing fancy. So, good stuff. Just able to mow through all this. Horn Drake. Are we gonna ignore it or are we gonna go after it? There we go. I think we may be not not desynced, but at least not always seeing the same thing at the same time. All right, so that's a that's a good item for him. I'll take the potion. 
Maybe the Necromancer has a special ability that lets him heal up a little bit. I don't know. But we're going to take on this Drake, or at least I'm going to take on this Drake, and he may keep walking. I don't know for sure. It looks like he's coming back behind me. Because like I said, this guy's attacks, they're slow. Slow, slow, slow. So there we go, 35 experience, level 10. Not bad for a rogue. And this is where we're doing things together very nice. And now, ooh, a lich. I have a feeling that's going to be a kind of far away walk. But with my necromancer friend with a friendly snake behind him, what long walk is not so pleasant and full of fiery, fiery goodness? Alright, so it could be the lich is, uh... Yeah, I have six potions. We have someone else who's joined us as well. Hello, level 7, Asiya, something or other. Please keep following us so that we may, uh, quest and go forward in jolly cooperation. Is that what the Sun Bros say to each other? At least I don't have to use a dark sign or anything, but I guess resetting all of my datas would just mean that I die. Which you've seen me die already, so that's not so bad. I'm going to try and keep this about 30 minutes though, so you may see me live or not live. You can see the uh, Oryx taunting down there once again. But pretty much this is Realm of the Mad God, it's, it's a fun game. It's good stuff. There's another treasure chest that's already been pillaged. Yay, so that lich looks like he's across the ocean a little bit. That stinks. Maybe a bit of a walk. But see, now we have now we have even more people. And once again, this is not something where people are stealing your farm. It's you get fame bonuses anytime other people level all around you. So that's that is the right way to go about this. You you want to group up when you can. There's an int ancient, and those things are much closer question is, is he going to follow me? And I think the answer is probably. Alright, so we'll see if those guys actually come back down to us because we're, we're going for the same guys right here. Okay, I don't know why he's saying teleport. I must have missed something. But I'm gonna keep going on, because I have a feeling he's following me. Yeah. And yay, level 20 died, so there's an egg. Or something. Okay, these guys are hitting a little more hard than I'd like. And now I have lost my friend. But there we go. We shall carry on. Perhaps. Wow, that is a, a lot of health that you have. Feels like there's something I don't know that I should know here. You know what, that's almost just not worth it, so we're just gonna skip it. And there's a lot of you guys that, okay. I think we're starting to get into the areas that are a little too tough for me. And I guess someone else is looking for a similar quest to me. These woods are bad news, I can already tell you that. Yeah, we are probably just going to hit alt like this. Go to the Nexus, it's about 30 minutes in anyway. But yeah, that's Realm of the Mad God. And even though it's hardcore, you can't escape like that because it's not supposed to be the super serious game ever if you haven't already been able to tell. But this is way to fail. I hope you did enjoy this video. Sorry you only got to see me die once, but we'll see. Maybe if there's more content for this in the future. I don't know for sure. But who knows what the future holds for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to play it because it is free to play. See you next time.